What's going on YouTube? I'm your host Joss and welcome back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. If you want all the details and behind the scenes, don't forget to follow us on social media, which is now linked in the description below. This week is an important week for Marvel fans because the new Avengers Endgame is coming out this week. Friday. The anticipation has been real and the countdown is finally on. It's only days away. With that being said, let's have some fun and talk about the possibilities the movie has. Today I am talking about the topic of can Ant-Man defeat Thanos in Avengers Endgame? Let's get started. Endgame is the latest movie in the multi-billion dollar Marvel franchise, which hits theaters this Friday, April 26th. With all the hype the movie has had since it was first announced, you can only imagine the different theories and conclusions fans have come up with. The main thing people are wondering about is how Thanos will be defeated and who will be the one to do it. Well, after the trailer dropped and fans saw that Ant-Man would be making his return to the movie, the internet spiraled out of control. Theories began floating around that Ant-Man will be the one to defeat him and and some of the suggestions on how are oddly disturbing. The most popular one by far is the ridiculous theory that Ant-Man will jump into Thanos' butthole and expand in size, causing the supervillain to explode. Now this theory only somewhat makes sense because Ant-Man has the power to get really small whenever he wants and also really big, like the size of a skyscraper big. The original idea floated around last year when a tweet went viral. At Film Gloss tweeted, Marvel saw the post about how Ant-Man could defeat Thanos by crawling into his ass and instantly growing in size and that's why they didn't put him in the movie, send tweet. Fans began to debate on the theory which just goes to show what our world has come to. Actor Paul Rudd aka Ant-Man was asked about the tweet which he was seeing for the first time in an interview. His first reaction was, that's interesting. And when asked if he thinks it could work, he said, I don't know, I almost think that's a question for Thanos. He continued to make jokes about the outrageous idea, saying that as a screenwriter himself, he doesn't think this idea made it into any of the drafts. He also went on to joke about the rating of the movie, which is a very good point. I don't think an anus explosion is necessarily a family friendly movie concept. Paul Rudd said he would ask Thanos, aka Josh Brolin, if he would be up for it. Although most of us can laugh at that hilarious theory, one person, a scientist named Alex Klutz, has taken it a little bit too seriously. The scientists at MIT went online to discuss and show the biology side of this theory to show if it's reasonable or not. He went on to prove the different variables and mechanics of the theory with scientific evidence to back up his explanations. He claims the theory comes down to two things. What if Ant-Man doesn't expand when he is inside and how much pressure can Thanos' anus take? Klutz goes even and further by using a balloon procedure to do a rectal compliance test. His final conclusion was, and I quote, each tissue and connection in the body has its own strength and its own limits. So even if he can expand through the rectal wall, I don't know if, for example, the same would be said about breaking the pelvis. The fact that he literally took the time to actually test out this theory blows my mind. But thanks for all the useful rectal information, Alex. The theory is famously known now, making it big in the meme universe and is known as the Thanos theory, the theory that takes Endgame to a whole new level. Another more logical but still a little bit silly theory is that Ant-Man will change side inside of Thanos' ear. I mean, if I have to pick between the two places Ant-Man crawls into, I'm going to pick this one. But some fans have taken this theory seriously too and point out the fact that Thanos has taken on full attacks by both the Hulk and Thor and didn't even get a nosebleed. His body is known to be incredibly strong and durable and just shows that his body cells are very capable of resisting damage. So if Ant-Man were to resize himself inside of Thanos' ear, his durable flesh would most likely crush the meaty flesh of Ant-Man. So basically Ant-Man could be squirting out of Thanos' ear, in case you needed an image to go along with that. On a final and more realistic note, there is a legitimate theory going around that Ant-Man really will be what the MCU needs to defeat Thanos. Ant-Man brings something other than physical strength to the Avengers and that is the quantum realm. Fans believe that because Ant-Man can access the quantum realm, this can be used as a way to possibly counter or even undo the death Thanos caused when he snapped in Infinity War. We know that the Infinity Gauntlet gives Thanos higher aspects of knowledge, but fans don't think he will be anticipating that the Avengers possess access to the quantum realm and with Ant-Man, 
they do. The theory comes from the idea that Doctor Strange already knew what was going to happen. Rather than handing over the time stone to Thanos right away, he had to wait until Ant-Man was in the quantum realm and will eventually end up in the future, which Doctor Strange already saw. So there are a lot of different theories on how Ant-Man will defeat Thanos, but does anyone think Ant-Man won't be able to? I find it hard to believe that he would be brought back to this movie with little significance. Personally, I think he's being brought back to be a helping hand for sure, but I think he's something new to offer and that's why he's being brought back to this movie. Maybe it is the quantum realm theory that will be what the Avengers need? What do you guys think? Can Ant-Man defeat Thanos? And if so, how? Let me know down in the comments what you guys think and give this video a thumbs up if you're excited that the movie is coming out on Friday. I am your host Joss and I will see you next time.